The story for Stephen continues as we continue today, and we see with Stephen that he was a man that people could see was full of God's grace and full of God's power. In fact, wherever he went, people saw a difference in him in the way that he acted and the way that he treated people. God will bless us and he will oversee us and he will care for us if we will allow him, but it's up to us to take that to others. And so when people saw Stephen, they saw a person who was so sold out that the only thing that they could point to was his walk with the Lord. The problem was the people that were perceived to be in power wanted to be those that were the religious leaders and they wanted to guide people the way they chose, the way they were brought up. But Stephen knew that they were missing something. And so it's at this time where Stephen, who's so excited about everything that's going on in his life, and here's these people that had complete opposition to him, that the two of these are going to come together. Well, what's going to take place is there's going to be a confrontation. And in this confrontation, Stephen is going to have to make a choice, and these people are going to have to make a choice. And it's often a choice that you and I have to make as well. What happens when people challenge us with our faith? What happens when people challenge us with our walk? How is it that we react? Think about that. How have you reacted in the past? How would you react in the present? And how do you plan to react in the future? Well, we'll see how Stephen reacts tomorrow. But tonight, I ask that you would take a little bit of time to look back as to how you've reacted. And I ask you to take a little bit of time to say, how is it that I wish I would have reacted? And how is it I plan to react in the future? And we'll look more at Stephen and his story tomorrow.